video, what is it about? Visual recognition, or at least a sample or an example. I'm Fabrice Daguet from beautiful Switzerland. I work at IBM as a GPS consultant. I hope that I will teach you or at least inspire you in this video. I will talk about my vision, what I did with my own hands, and the lessons learned or the feeling from the heart. Are you ready? Let's go! Meet Arthur, who comes home after a successful day at the office. He's in good spirit and would like to also help out at home. He opens the door and sees that many things are laying on the floor. Things are not in order. Not only this is a mess, but he has no idea where to put those things. No worries, my friends. We have Watson to help out. Look, take your smartphone and let the magic begin. A click of a button and Watson is able to recognize the object thanks to visual recognition service and Arthur is able to know where to store everything without the help from the ruler of the house. Of course, that little video is very easy to do. Everything works fine. We just have the smartphone, we take a picture of it. And what I really did was an application based on a note read. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. This was the application that I created. Do you remember Arthur coming home not knowing what to do? So these are the objects that he finds. We will see how it works. All right, so we choose Maybe the first one. We see it's a fork. Let's see what happens. Hey, Watson was able to discover it's a table fork. We even know where to put it. It tells to the kitchen, the dishwasher, fork bin. Perfect. Another one. Let's see that one, for example. Mm, where does it go? Great. It's uh, the kids' headset, the kids' room shelves, second shelf blue box. Very simple, huh? That, by the way, is the headphones that I have, and I did train Watson to recognize it. Let's see, for example, that one. This is another one, another object that I own. This is the family phone, pretty sure, at 82%. However, we haven't really set up where it should go. So um, we just say, okay, let's put it in the bin of uh, objects waiting for a home. So this way we decide where to put it. Let's see another one. Um, bokeh. Hmm, let's see. Ah, uh, this Watson was not really certain what to do with it. So we would put it in another bucket. This is to be classified. So what we would do is take a few pictures, 10 of them, tell that it's a bill bokeh, and in the future, he will know what it is. Yeah, Watson needs to be trained. So that's pretty much the application that I created. What is behind Node Red? I will quickly go over it. Node Red is kind of a Lego application. You put bricks together, let the, f the, the, the flow go through, so I will go through the, the Lego. Alright, this is the landing page. Did you notice here? SAT, there, SAT. Good. It goes through it. It sees if we already sent something. At the beginning it doesn't send anything, so we would uh, arrive here. The CS, the JavaScript, the application, the URL, huh? and we say, okay, let's send us the URL. Once we go back to here and we send the URL, then it goes through here, it gets, it extracts the URL of the image. Here, I tell him, you know what, I would like to use my classification. So if I only use a default, it would go through the built-in uh, classifier and it would not recognize my phone, my headsets, or the kids' headsets, so this is where it happens. Then we get into the Watson visual recognition, and here we can put the API key so that we 
point to the recognition that I own and we decided to classify the image and it's an English uh, version. We can also detect faces or recognize text. And then here I check what what was the answer and get out the I play a, a return or I get the classification and the score and it depends if if we did find it or not. So if it could not classify, we just say now we don't have any idea what it is, please uh, uh, classify it. If we did find, then I would go to the database, the Cloudant database, and see if we have an entry for that classification. And here, if we did not find it, we go there. If we did find, we go here. And that's it. So I'm happy that you met Arthur, that you looked at the application that I created. All nice. Now let's have a vision for the future. What can we do with this? Imagine that we would embark that onto a robot and um, it would roam around the house during the night, look at all the things that is out of place, picks it up, imagine puts uh, all the dishes in the dishwasher or uh, put the shoes where they should be and all of those things, the socks where it should be. Or also you could imagine robots into uh, construction places where the security is very important to not uh, have things laying around. There are many applications. So that's the beginning and I'll let you guys imagine what can we do with that uh, visual recognition. It was very nice to work uh, on that project because not only I was able to really work on that visual recognition, train it, uh, think of what we could do with it. It was also a possibility to uh, get deeper into the Node-RED application, think about stuff. I also was able to get into the cloud and, and uh, make sure that uh, everything that I wanted to do worked as planned. So in the end, I wanted to thank the whole team of the TLE at Enningen for that micro challenge that allowed us to, to develop our skills. I found that using the Slack uh, communication place was very useful to be able to communicate with others. So that's, that's all I wanted to show you and uh, I hope that you enjoyed and you got inspired. I wish you a very nice day and see you soon. Bye!